Awesome, so let's get started building this. I've broken up this tutorial in a couple pieces so you can click around and just get the information that you need. Or you can follow along completely and build the whole thing from scratch with me. Getting started, let's take a look at how we can create the Create Ticket page. Starting out, what we'll do is create a new script in your WayScript account. You can call it whatever you want. I'll call mine Ticket Management System, and then I'll click on Create. What this will do is give us access to the WayScript editor, and this is where we'll build all the logic for our program here. We already know that there's multiple steps in the script, and what we can do is utilize the functions to create each of those steps. So let's go ahead and create four functions. We have our main and function one, two, and three. We'll go ahead and rename these. So main will be our dashboard. Function one will be our create tickets. Function two can be our review tickets. And then we'll just name function three as helper. Now that we have our functions, let's go ahead and create our create ticket function. Starting out, we know that we want the user to have access to this function via a URL. And we can get that URL by using the HTTP trigger. This gives us a provided URL over here to the left that we can change the endpoint on. We'll make this one create ticket. That way we can leave the default, just the program id.wayscript.io as our dashboard. Since we want to return content to the user whenever they go to this HTTP trigger, we can use an HTTP response. We'll fill this response with the content that we want to return, which we can create now. The content that we want to return is HTML. Once we have this HTML, we can go down to the response and pull this default HTML code in. Now let's go up and edit our HTML. What I'll do is go to our GitHub and see this step in the README section, and this is linked below, and we're looking for number four. We'll go up and grab number four. That way we don't have to type this out. And I'll just copy and paste this in. Then I'll explain everything as we go through. So what we're doing in this HTML file is we're creating HTML. We're adding style elements. And we already know that the styling wasn't great on our create ticket page. So feel free to edit these. Then what we need to do is we need to provide the submission link as a variable before this module. This submission link will be the URL that the user goes to when they submit this form. An important thing to note here is that when a user submits this form, we're passing two values to that submission link. These values are the description and the ticket title. You can add more values or take these away if you want to, but this is how we'll read in entries into a database from this form. The flow will be a user submits this form, then we'll pass these entries to Python logic to save them to a database. Now that we've gone through this, let's go ahead and finalize this submission link. We'll close the editor and create that variable. We know we needed to create it because this pill is red. So there's no value that this pill is referring to. We can change that by creating a variable with that name above it. And this will just be the link that we want the user to go to whenever they submit that form. In my example, I'm sending the user to the home page, So I'll use that link here. To get a link, we can utilize that HTTP trigger again, but this time let's build it out for the home page. So we'll create that HTTP trigger. We'll copy this link, and then we'll paste that link into this create variable module. Now that this submission link has a value, our HTML should have a colored pill, which it does. We see that the color here has changed to blue, and that's because it's a string or a URL specifically in this case. Different colors signify different data types within WayScript, so we can easily view pills to see what type of data type that pill is. Awesome. So we have our HTML, we're returning it to the user, and we have that form that will send the user back to our main dashboard. 